Don't know why your CO2 laser isn't cutting? After this video, you will be able to troubleshoot any issue with ease. My name is David, this is Virmer. Make sure you're subscribed and let's get started. Power loss and incomplete cuts. If your machine isn't cutting through materials properly, creates double lines or produces blood engraving, the first thing to check is alignment. We have prepared a detailed video guide on how to align the optics. Check it out in a pop-up. The machine doesn't cut. If the laser beam doesn't reach the cutting area correctly, damaged mirrors or lenses might be the cause. During operation, residue and dust can settle on the optics and the laser burns combustion products directly onto them. That's why regular cleaning is essential. Also, keep an eye on your exhaust system. A good one will remove all dust before it settles on the machine. Now, ask yourself, how often do you inspect and maintain your optical path? You'll find proper cleaning instructions in our maintenance video. If the lens or mirror is already damaged, the only solution is replacement. By the way, Watson now uses high-quality imported lenses from the USA for their CO2 machines. They offer better cutting and engraving quality, and they are more reliable. The factory explained the update in more detail. No laser emission. Sometimes the laser doesn't emit at all. Here are the common causes. Alignment. Again, this is always the first thing we tell clients to check. Potentiometer. Located on the side panel of the machine, it might be turned all the way down. This fact disables laser output. Switches. Many models have several switches on the side. One of them enables the laser. Make sure it's turned on and don't forget to turn the key. Power input. Models like 6090, 1290 and 1610 have two power inputs. One is for the laser tube ignition unit. Check whether the cable is plugged in and whether the socket has voltage. Fuse. Inside the power connector is a fuse that might have blown. There's a spare fuse stored right underneath. Use it. If known of this apply, consider the following. Laser tube. It might have simply reached the end of its lifespan. Replacement is the only fix. High voltage power supply. It might have failed due to dust or poor grounding. Again, the solution is replacement. If you assemble the machine yourself or you bought it from an unreliable supplier, the power supply might not match the tube's power, which means it's bound to burn out. Watson machines are designed by experienced engineers, so this kind of issue is ruled out. I didn't mention the problem you're facing, leave a comment and our engineers will help you out. And remember, you can always contact our service team, we work all across Europe. My name is David, this is Virmer. Subscribe and give the video a like so you won't miss the next one. See you soon.